What's up guys, it is I, once again, MrGamer990 and welcome to another part of our Let's Play series on Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater We are nearing the finale to our Let's Play series on Metal Gear Solid 3 and right now, we're in another desperate chase against the men of Vulcan who are trying to come after us and there they are, yeah we we'll take them down, we we'll do that Eva, we we'll do that like so and there are some guys up there too. Let's keep an eye on them. Reload, good. And back up, and good. Fire, 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 good. Take them all down. Every single last one of these motherfuckers. Like that, baby. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much, Eva. I love how Eva compliments us on our shooting, you know. Especially when uh, taking down these uh, motherfuckers. Where are they? Wait, where the fuck are they? There are they are. Hello, sexy. Oh, yeah. Go down, baby. Go down. Like that. Die. Every single last one of these motherfuckers. Oh, God. I love this shit. I fucking love this shit. Where? Go get them. Behind us? On front. Where exactly are they? Oh, there they are. I am so confused where they're gonna come from. Front or back? I have no idea, man. And as you can tell, that's Eva's life bar from those snakes. And uh, who's behind us? Uh, where? Where exactly? Oh, right. These pop suckers. And they're dead. Too bad. But it's fuck you, Jeff. Get in your face. We put that guy on the uh, tower up here. It doesn't even die to begin with. I don't think I can see him. And yeah, these Fox suckers go down. So where to next, Eva? Where to next, I wonder? Over there. Yeah, shoot them all. Shoot them all down. Good, good. Fuck you. And uh, up there too. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. If we can even hit him, but we can't. We're entering uh, Lazo, Revo, or Revo South. Uh, that's a Russian name I can't pronounce properly. Sorry. I hope to some point, but let's take down these uh, motherfuckers. And let's take this other guy down over here. Good. And uh, followed by uh, this jackass right here. Good jump. Nice. Oh wow, that's so flat there. Hello there, sexy. Yeah, in your face, bitch. In your fucking face. And die already. Fucking die. Wow, that was some explosion. Over here, eh? Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. And the uh, reload. Good. Equip gun and fire. Fire these fuck suckers. Good, good, good. Come on, come on. Up here too. Wow, that flashy thing though. Flashy thing. Who else wants some? Come on, baby. Oh, you want some too? Over there. Let's shoot this motherfucker. Good. And uh, we need to reload and uh, shoot this fucker right there. Good. Oh man, these guys are everywhere. Die already, bitch. Die. Oh, 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 oh that guy. We need to uh, equip our RPG and fire the log. Where's the log? Where, where? There's the log and the fire. Where's the log? Oh shit, 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 and where the hell are they? Yeah, right over here. Guys and bikes. They all go down like the rest of them. Oh, come on. You done? Oh, no, they're not done yet. And let's keep shooting at them. Come on, baby. Die, die, die. Yeah, fuck you and die. Who the hell is next? I can't see them. Who are the next victims? Oh, there they are. Yeah, fuck you guys. What the hell? And fuck your mama too. Come on, boy. Is that the best we got? Come on. You can do better. And uh, are they done? No, they're not. There's still more over there. And now they're done. Good. Oh, yeah. Keep going up ahead, Eva. And anyone behind us? Nope. No one behind us. So I guess we're safe. And there's still more. Wow. They never give up, do they? Oh, yeah. Guys, oh, jump. Jump. Up ahead. Up ahead. Whoa, this could be awesome. Damn, girl, wow. Holy shit. That, <laughs> yeah. That's some driving, Eva. Not bad at all. Perfect. Perfect 10, baby. Perfect 10. That was beautiful, guys. That was so beautiful. And we're in this area right now, which I can't pronounce the damn name, sorry. Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start yeah. celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn. From the shot of Ocelot's revolver. Tank shot up. Yeah. Ocelot. 
Damn boy. Whoa, whoa, Crap. Damn log. Fuck. Shit, man. Yeah. Very good driving on the part of Eva, but she's also very careless at times. Not all the time, but sometimes. And this accident proves that. Oh yeah? It's raining. How appropriate. It, uh, you know, uh, enhances the drama of the situation between Snake and Eva, our lovebirds. Hey there, beautiful. You injured? So is Snake. Not as badly as you. Oh no, not as badly. Snake. He's been pierced. How does it look? Not good. No. No. Yeah, you could say that. Not a sensitive bone in your body. Yeah. Eva. What about you, Snake? I'm fine. That's good to hear. <laughs> Thanks. We need to get out of here. Because those jackasses will follow. We have to get away from here, Eva. Yeah. Vulcan's men. Leave me. Eva! The boss is waiting for you. You have mm -hmm. to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. <laughs> I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva! I need you. Guys? Don't forget that line. Say that one more time. Don't I forget. Need you. This line. Do I can't not fly the wig by myself. Forget it. Don't you dare. You'll find out why in the next game. Oh, you will. I promise you. Cross my heart. All right, then. I guess I'd better help you out. Yeah, you better go. You're strong, beautiful, and brave. Oh yeah. You can do it. Oh. That sucks. Really does. Hurts like a real motherfucker. You're lucky to have me. Yeah, we are. Damn straight. How dramatic, but pretty cute too. Snake, can you hear me? Paramedic, thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think mm -hmm. her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down? You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this, understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. <laughs> then kinda. by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, and Snake, yeah. I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds come first. Huh. Okay. Do you get my meaning, Snake? You've still got a mission to complete. Yeah. yeah, I know what I have to do. Snake. The boss. Like this. Yeah, like this. As in we should enter the survival menu and heal both Snake and Eva. So let's get straight to it. We're gonna start with Snake first. He's suffering from a cut in his leg. Let's fix that. Suture kit, tip tick. Disinfect. And last but not least, bandage. Good. Now he has a fractured bone. All he's gonna need is a splint. Yeah, there we go. Actually, no, he needs a splint and he also needs some uh, bandage and that should be it, good. Now let's work on Eva. Damn, she is seriously injured. We're gonna fix her though and let's close the wound first using the suture kit, good. A bandage. 
There we go. And last but not least, a styptic. Actually, no, she might need also a disinfection. So let's use the disinfect wood. That's the wound right there where she was pierced by that, you know, that wood thing, the sharp edge of the log. Now we need to close it and add some bandage, suture and bandage. Now let's use the styptic. And uh, I think we need to use the disinfect too. Yeah, disinfect. There we go. Voila. We're both good. You can stand, honey. Oh, you can. Can you walk? Yeah. Mm hmm I think so. Wow. Quite the uh, lovebirds they are. <laughs> Revolver. Cool. It's different from a Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands yeah. or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas. Exactly. The gap. Yeah. Know how to hold the gun and careful when you pull the trigger. Otherwise, you get burned or the shot might backfire. Using a gun is very complex and not like the movies, you know. That's what I love about Kojima-san's games. The level of detail there is to how he, you know, develops the games he makes. Snake, are you alright? I've been better. What about Eva? I healed her up. She can manage. Good. Snake, you'll take the lead and break through the enemy's line of defense. Eva will ordinarily be following behind you. If you lie on your belly, she'll lie down as well. If you slip and fall off a cliff, she'll follow right behind. <laughs> of course. You can call out to Eva by pressing the action button. Head to the lake along with Eva. And we need to hunt for some food too, because we are running so short on food, especially if we need some food to refill our stamina. And let's not forget, we have the boss to worry about. So let's grab the uh, hands of Eva. First, we need to add a silencer to our handgun right here, the SOCOM pistol as I call it. And I think we need to grab her hand. Oh, no, we don't need to. We have to actually just guide her and uh, where are the enemies? We should probably use the motion detector. I think this is it, yeah. And I want to pick up the snake right here because we need some food. And uh, let's also organize our, you know, menu list right here. That includes having to remove the MK-22 and this other gun right here. I only equipped it because I thought we might need more machine guns when battling against, you know, Colonel Volgan. But apparently that's not necessary. The RPG will go down too, as well as the stun grenade. Actually, no, let's keep the stun grenade and uh, remove the C3. The knife is right here, and we're going to use uh, said knife on the snake that's right in front of us. I think that's a King Cobra, because you know, King Cobras are the biggest snake you can find, at least in this jungle. I know for a fact there are far bigger snakes than a King Cobra, and now we need to guide Eva through the forest. And she's running low on food, so we might need need to give her some. Let's feed her the snake because, you know, Eva might like some snakes and I think we can feed her some. Uh, can we feed Eva some? No, I think we have to go close to her before we can actually feed her. Oh, right. Like I said before, guys, level of detail in Kojima-san and Kojima Productions games, the oh. games they produce. Enjoy it, Eva. Here. Yeah. Can I have seconds? Wow, she loves snake. I have no doubt right now she wants to eat naked snake. Not the actual snake, but naked snake right here. Our main protagonist. Handsome main protagonist. I don't blame her. No, I don't. Is Eva following? Nope, she's not. We need to keep going this way. I love how Snake, you know, gets on his knees and tells her to come forward like they do in the military, you know. That's exactly why I love these kind of games, these action-adventure survival games. And uh, we're right here, Eva. Right here. Follow. We have to go all the way back and make sure that Eva follows us. And her health is recovering really fast, especially since we fed her. And we need to continue to move forward because obviously Eva's injured and she can't walk as fast as Snake. So that's understandable. We have another snake right here. Eva's gonna love this, or she will. Let's keep an eye out for some enemy patrols and make sure we take them down. And we cross through this forest. What just happened? The fuck? Oh yeah, the enemy patrols. That's bad. Very bad. But 
They'll go down. One bullet to each of their skulls. Oh yeah. Bring it on, boys. Bring it on. Oh yeah, baby. This is gonna be fun, guys. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah. I love the music, I really do. This should be very interesting, I don't doubt it. We need to cross this quicksand right here, or this water, and where the hell are the enemy patrols? I think they're right in front of us. He was following us good, and we need to keep moving forward and make sure that any enemy are come inside. What the fuck? What the hell are they? Whoa, what the fuck? They're right behind us, damn bastards. Eva, watch out. He's getting in front of Eva. Take it all down. Wow. Eva can fire a gun. Oh, she can. And all down good. Guys, we have no choice but to keep moving forward and take them all down. Keep moving, Eva. Keep moving. Where the hell should we go right now? We need to head over to the X spot. So let's go there right now. Come on, Eva. Let's go. Eva, this way. This way, Eva. So far, the guards aren't there. And Eva is pretty slow, but she'll catch up. Oh, she will. And there are more guards behind us. Right over there, guys. Shit. Guys, shoot them down. Shoot them all down right now. Oh, my God. Eva shot us while we were right in front of her. That's on me me guys i'm really sorry about that i just had no idea she could actually shoot us i guess the level of details to the games that kojima productions and kojima san produce also include your allies shooting you so thank you kojima san thank you very much the enemy guards are down now we have to lift eva up here and why the fuck we got a codec moment what the hell At least we've uh, made progress, a lot of progress, and a, a cool cutscene, one of many in the Metal Gear Solid series. I love the sound the snake makes, you know, like, <laughs> like that. Pretty awesome and cool. Yep, we're on the east side of whatever that name is, and we need to continue to fight the enemies and make sure that they don't catch up to us. We have to feed Eva some snakes and make sure we feed her this time good, and all the guards have been taken down, and yep. Eva enjoys some good snake, but all the guards are down, and we need to keep pushing forward until we reach the very end, and we'll find the boss. Once we do find the boss, we're gonna have a very long cutscene, and you guys and gals can enjoy that, because the last part, will be the finale and we have to go all the way back to Eva and drag her with us because Eva has to be guided by dear sweet snake. I can't blame a lady for loving her man but to love a snake this much that is a totally unhealthy love she has there for you know naked snake our boy. We're so close guys we head over this way and there's one jackass over there who might likely spot us but let's head over here and we can guide Eva on top of this cliff and we made it to the boss or at least in the area where the boss is and Eva is tired. Eva doesn't have to worry because we finally reached the end at least of this area before meeting our mentor, our mother, the boss. It was quite a long, you know, walk or stroll past the forest, getting through to those jackasses, and now we made it to this place. The final battleground between mentor and student, mother and son, snake and the boss. Come on, snake. Yeah. Quite a beautiful sight. Just as snake and Eva are beautiful, and just like the boss is. Oh yeah. We made it. We made it. Mm-hmm. You can say that. Over there. The wig, aka the jet, which is our escape route or escape method. It's the boss, isn't it? To get out. I'll go get yeah, the wig ready to take off. Right. Yeah. I'll leave you two alone. But come Thank back you. in one piece, okay? We will, guys. We will. Promise me. We promise you, honey. I'll get going and prepare the wig. Because right now, this is gonna be a truly epic, emotional moment. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Davy 
Crockett, the Davy Crockett being the second nuke which was launched by the boss. Iceland. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It's almost it is. tragic. Mm -hmm. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss. Why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Hmm. Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? Who there knows? is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, mm. but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish. Covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake, you were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. Tools. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. No. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. Wow. 
At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. <laughs> I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the US and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for, by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. Shit. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live and one must die. Mm -hmm. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. 
The sorrow was the father. Yeah. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Her father and her child. And of course the sorrow, her friend. Damn the patriots or the Look philosophers. The this is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me. Slithering through my body, like a snake. How ironic. Fitting for a Cobra leader. I've never talked this much about myself before. And a snake. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. It was an honor on the part of Snake. I feel content. Snake. Damn. Commence the operation. The bomb. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. He does. Oh, he does, guys. I'll give you ten minutes. In ten minutes, MIGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. Yeah. If you can beat me in less than ten minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Ten minutes, guys. Ten. Let's make this the greatest ten minutes of our lives, Jack. The next Boss. episode. You're a Finale. soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Wow, guys, this is way too much to take in because after everything that she's endured and how the philosophers, the wise men's committee, the patriots, la do they know, however you call them, they screwed her big time. They took everything she loved and yet even now she still believes the world can be united and that she hopes to achieve her dream. Only her dream, if you guys and gals played the later games in the Mel Gear Solid series, including Mel Gear Solid 4, Peace Walker, and of course Mel Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes, both major Zero and uh, Naked Snake would later come to be known as Big Boss. They both saw the boss's vision in a totally different way and both of them did not understood her true intentions by what she means in uniting the world. And because of their misinterpretation of the boss's desire to unite the world under one banner, they caused endless chaos, conflict and war, something she was trying to stop. In turn, that would cause Naked Snake, aka Big Boss, to lose his mind and trust me guys, in Mel Gasol 5 The Phantom Pain, near the very end, he completely lost his mind and there is nothing left in him, no humanity, no soul. And Whatever there was in Jack, Naked Snake is gone and all there is is a demon, a demon formed because of this endless conflict. And because the conflict only escalates when he and Major Zero go to battle against one another. The next episode is going to be the finale without question, so thank you guys and girls for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish. The final battle with the boss will include the song Snake Eater. I forgot who the artist was that sung the song, but she is truly amazing. I might put the link for that song down below in the description box. That link will be included in the finale of our Let's Play series on Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. So until then, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.